I'm going to show you how to put the JSB hub locks on. We're going to put, um, it's a twin axle, so we'll, what I'm going to do is show you on the front wheel how to do it with like normal hand tools, and then on the back wheel I'll show you how I do it quicker with um, sort of power tools, um, but I'll show you both ways. Um, just before we do, obviously we've got to jack the caravan up as well, I'll mention that briefly. So when jacking it up, um, obviously the most important thing is making sure it's stable. So make sure you wind all the legs up, um, otherwise it puts pressure on the, some of the legs. Um, and also it's uh, recommended to have it still attached to your tow car so it doesn't move. Um, I leave the handbrake off because I want the wheels to be able to move when I put the JSBs on. Um, although actually they're pretty much lined up horizontal at the moment, those two nuts. But anyway, we leave the handbrake off. So I'd also recommend you put a couple of chocks under the other side just to be safe. Um, I'm going to jack it up with um, the code jack which you can see under there um, but um, which is just there in place. Anyway first thing the one we're doing with hand tools is you're gonna have to loosen the nuts off while it's on the ground just a little bit so you just want to otherwise you'll struggle when they're in the air especially your handbrake off so just loosen them off ever so slightly that's it and then once it's loosened up we can then reach over and jack the caravan up might help if I actually close the valve on the on the my jack first but obviously you may be using a different jack the code jacks aren't particularly quick but they're really easy Make sure you jacked on stable ground. I've got a wooden block there, but it's really big enough, but it's fine. Well, we don't need to get massively high, we just need to get a couple of inches or so underneath the wheels. Another thought, we'll see. Okay, we've already loosened these off a bit, so they should just come undone fairly easily. Yeah, they're really loose. So the other tools I've got down here, you'll see in a second, I'm going to use a couple of wheel guides the JSBs on. Um, I'd recommend you use two, it just makes it so much more easy. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, so that's the wheel off. Don't lose your um, wheel nuts or your bolts. Right, and then for the JSPs, JSBs, certainly on the four, um, a four hole version like this, um, just put two of those opposite each other. You want them horizontal. Just slide your block over the top. A bit of wood under the bottom just to protect it from the ground. And put your lock on there. And that's it. And then I just put those in um, finger tight for now. They're 17 mil on these so it might be different it's different to what my caravan wheels are which are they were 19 mil but for these 17 mil socket now once you've got those two in you can just take these out everything's lined up now it's really hard if you don't use those um wheel guides it's quite fiddly to get them lined up so I definitely recommend using two if you only have one you could put it just in the top hole but um, I'd recommend two and then that's really it for putting that on I will give them a bit of a tighten up but I can't I can't really um, do it too much with the otherwise it's just going to spin round we'll tighten them up properly when the when we lower the jack Probably want to use a better wrench than I've got here.
and that's it. And that's that one done, and we'll tighten them up properly when we get to the ground. Um, for the second one, I'm going to do it with um, power tools. Now, you can't use an impact gun on the um, where we put them on on these locks. The guards who make these say you mustn't use an impact driver on those, so I think you'll just damage them. They're not very strong. Um, so I am going to use an impact driver to take my wheel off. You'll notice I didn't loosen this off on the ground. There was no need to because I'm using an impact an impact gun. noisier though. So if you're going to a caravan site at night you definitely don't want to do that. Um, and then exactly the same, I'm going to put the two wheel guides in. They don't need to be all the way in. Put the JSB underneath. Right, JSB on top, bit of wood underneath. And then again when you're putting these nuts in don't I'm going to do them up with a drill in a second, you'll see, but I just put them in really loosely first, just by hand. It's really important when using power tools not to start off with a power tool, otherwise you can cross-thread them and just damage everything. So even if it's just a couple of little turns. And that's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my electric drill. I've got the torque settings on it, so it's, I'm, not going to, sorry, I'm not going to use this. I'm just going to use my electric drill with a torque setting on just to tighten them up once we adapt. That's it. it. Helps you just engage that first. Yep. Not much quicker than doing it by hand, but just saves a few seconds. That'll do. And then when it goes to the ground, we'll tighten these all up properly. So just make sure everything's clear. And then just slowly let the caravan down. That's it. And then when you're doing them up, use a torque wrench. Um, I've got a torque wrench here, which for um, the JSBs, you should set to 65 foot-pounds, which is 80 eight newton meters. I'll get the right one for the right wheel. That's it. And just do those up. You want to use a torque wrench, otherwise you're going to end up with them too tight. in the crisscross fashion, so opposite sides. And that's that wheel. And then the same on the other wheel. And that's it all done. Then you can put your corner legs down disconnect from your car, whatever you need to do, or well, disconnect from the car first then put your corner legs down. Um, and that's it, that's how to put the JSBs on, it's quite fast. All right.